Hey guys, welcome back to Sean Does DIY. It's that time of the year, it's getting warmer, the grass is growing, we gotta pull these mowers out of storage and get those yards looking great. If you're like me, I pulled my mower out of the shed the other day, went put some gas in it, tried to start it, and nothing. So I'm gonna show you a simple trick that is most likely the problem with these type of motors. All right, especially if they've been sitting in a shed or garage or whatever over the winter for a few months. Um, anybody can do it at home, it's a simple DIY. You don't need any fancy tools, screwdriver, some sockets and wrenches, and we'll get you going and get those yards looking great. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, here we are. We're ready to get this mower running. Uh, super simple. Uh, anybody can do it at home. You don't need to know anything about engines or how carburetors work. And for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to explain how carburetors work because, like I said, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna fix one thing and hopefully that'll get your mower going. If that doesn't work, then it's a whole nother issue and that's a whole nother video, all right? Now, another thing is if you have a electric mower, uh, this is the wrong video, stop and find another one. I don't know why your mower is not working. Uh, maybe charge it, I don't know, all right. <laughs> so, now on push mowers, motors are pretty much the same. Uh, this happens to be a Toro 22 inch push mower. Um, with a Briggs and Stratton motor in it. Uh, the, the motor model number on this particular one is 128, 128M02-0017. Um, and I'll put a link in the description below to this particular motor, to the motor for this engine, or for this mower, uh, to the Briggs and Stratton website. It'll give you a PDF of uh, the parts list and um, you know the, the operator's manual for the motor itself. Uh, now you wanna check uh, the manufacturer you know, the instruction manual that came with your mower uh, to find out stuff. Uh, this one is stamped right here on this piece of metal uh, with the model number. So you can always just go look up your particular model number. Now, all right, let's get started. Now, like I said, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, I'm gonna be taking components off of this that you might not have to, depending on the configuration of your motor. Um, so what we're looking for is we're looking for this little guy right here. It looks like a little bell hanging off the, the bottom of the carburetor. All right, this is what's called a float bowl. And most likely what happened um, is, you know, even if you ran it out of gas, you know, you let it run before you put it away for the winter. Um, there's still fuel in there, most likely a little bit, and over time the fuel degrades and it gums up and it clogs what's called the main jet. All right, and so that's the bolt that's on the bottom of your uh, float bowl. All right, and that main jet, what it does is it allows the fuel to go through and up into the carburetor. And if that gets gummed up, you're not getting any fuel. So a motor's a motor, right? What does a motor need to go? It needs fuel, it needs air, and it needs spark, all right? Now, speaking of spark, before we do anything on this, we wanna pull the spark plug cable off the spark plug. We don't want our mower to accidentally somehow start up. 99.99999% of the time, it won't happen, but we wanna be safe, right? So we'll pull that off so there's no way this engine can get spark and make it go, all right? Um, another thing you might wanna look at is if you want some, you know, some gloves, uh, because there might be a little fuel left in there, especially if you went to go try to start it and you put gas in there, um, then you're gonna get fuel pouring out. So, drain your gas, all right? Most mowers, they're pretty easy. Uh, you just tip it over its side, you put it in a, uh, you know, dump the gas into an approved container and take it somewhere to get disposed of properly. Uh, same with the oil. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil on this. I already dumped the oil out since I got it up here anyways. Uh, and I'm gonna change the spark plug since I got it out anyways. All right, so let's get started. Um, something you might want to think about um, is when you take the float ball off now and the, and the main jet, there's a gasket on the jet and then there's an O-ring on the float ball. So if the mower's, you know, fairly new, year or so, a couple of years maybe, um, if you're careful taking that O-ring off and the gasket, you could probably reuse them. Um, what I did um, is I went on Amazon, I found a rebuild kit for this particular motor, uh, $9, it came with everything. I need to rebuild the carburetor. Um, I'm gonna use like three things out of here, all right? Um, and it came with a new air filter and it came with a spark plug. So nine bucks, can't beat it, all right? I'll put a link in the description below uh, to the one I used um, and you can find whichever one might pertain to your particular motor. All right, so like I said, um, for the purposes of this video, I am going to take parts off that you might not have to. Uh, like with this motor, I could actually just do it right here without taking anything off, but I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the plastic cover off. 
Um, look at your instruction manual, see how to do it. Uh, this one is just two Phillips head screws, and I'm gonna put them in there so I don't lose them, hopefully. Turn that, all right. All right, cool. Take that one off. Now, I'm just gonna throw it off the side here, out of the way. All right, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna take the air cleaner filter cover off, to where your air filter is, all right? Uh, it's just a little flathead or a bolt or whatever. Yep, that air filter is, eh, it's not too bad, but we've got a new one, so we'll change it anyways. All right, put that over there. All right, so I'm gonna take the um, air filter or the air cleaner back off. Normally you wouldn't have to, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to remove it so you can see what I'm doing. All right, this has got two little 5 16 bolts that go into the carburetor to hold it on. And then most likely, because they're pretty much all the same, um, you're gonna have a, uh, the breather tube is gonna be attached to this thing. It just pops right off, all right? So we'll just, oops, just clean that up a little bit. Take a look inside. It's got some gunk in there. See, it doesn't look too bad. Um, you could throw some uh, uh, carburetor cleaner in there if you want to. Uh, we're gonna test it and see. All right, so here's this gasket I was talking about on the back here. So this one looks, uh, see it's torn. So I'm gonna replace the gasket. It came in the rebuild kit. Uh, so we'll just toss that. Clean it up a little bit while I got it off. All right, let's see how that looks. It's not too bad. All right, all right, well, good enough. All right, so again, here's the float bolt. All right, so this one is a half inch bolt on the bottom. I'm gonna take that off. Now, there might be a little fuel left in there. So if you want, you can get like a little bowl, piece of Tupperware or something, and catch any gas that might fly. It just gets in my way, so I'm not worried about it. It's not a whole bunch. All right, oh, yep, there's that O-ring. That O-ring is shot. All right, so here's your bowl. Just wanna make sure you get it clean. All right. And then this is your main jet, all right? Look, see that gasket is tore, so I gotta replace that. All right, so here's your main jet. Um, now, if you look uh, inside, find something I can point with here. All right, so this is actually a <laughs> jet cleaning tool. Now, you can use a paper clip, works just fine. Just be super careful if you do, because this is brass and you don't wanna scratch it up inside. All right, so when your jet is in there, fuel comes in these two holes, on the bottom, goes up and goes into your carburetor and through the float into your carburetor, all right? Uh, so most likely what happens is the gas sits in there over time, it degrades and it gets gummed up. So get you a paper clip, just clean it out, any little gunk that might be gummed up in there, all right? Let's see, yep, that one feels good. I can see my thing in there. It's hard to see, I know for you guys, but I'm gonna say that looks pretty good. All right, just make sure that jet is clean before you put it back. Okay, good to go. And that's it. Boom, you're done, All right? Well, I mean, you gotta put it back together. All right, so I'm gonna replace the O-ring on the bowl and I'm gonna replace the gasket on the jet, jet gasket, and I'm going to replace the gasket on the back of the air cleaner here. All right. Pretty simple, there's some little uh, plastic pins on this one. All right, just make sure we get it lined up right. Let's see, there we go, that looks right. Stick it on there. Looks like it was made for this mower. That's good. <laughs> you know, sometimes you don't know what you get on Amazon, but this one looks good. Check that. Just be super careful here, I don't scratch that. Just wanna give us some piece of that gasket, old gasket on there. Good seal. All right. Oh yeah, I definitely want to get that off. All right, but like I said, most likely you won't have to take this off. And if you don't, all the better. You always want to start simple. And just create more work for yourself. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some 
cleaner in there. Doesn't take much, just a little bit. Beautiful. Clean off that face of that anyways there, flange. Oh yeah, cool. All right, so I'm not gonna take the carburetor apart unless I absolutely have to, because that's a whole nother job. And um, it's not hard, it's just a kind of a pain. And if you're not sure what you're doing, you could mess it up. All right, so we're gonna put the float bowl back on. The O-ring seated. All right, oh, gasket fell off the jet there. Ah, gloves. All right, safety first. All right, let's see if we can get this, the jet started in there, the bolt, well. Ah, my gloves getting caught in there. All right, there it goes. Well, maybe, I keep getting my, my glove keeps getting caught in there. All right, I'm gonna take my gloves off so I can feel what I'm doing here. There we go. All right, the rings on there. Looks good. Oh, fell off, there it goes. Oh, all right. <laughs> Get it sitting in there, okay. There we go. Ugh. something. All right, this thing's being weird. Okay, let me see what's going on here. <laughs> I promise you it's easy. There it goes. A lot easier without the bowl on there, huh? to twerk this thing down super tight, but you want it to be tight enough that it's not gonna, you're gonna get a good seal. All right, check that. Gasket looks good. Put this back on, put the breather tube in. And just get these started. Definitely don't wanna get these cross threaded because if these get messed up, you'd be in a world of hurt. Again, these don't need to be super tight. You just want them torqued down enough that it's not gonna leak on you. All right, cool. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the spark plug before I put the air filter back on. And spark plug tool. There we 
we go. And check your manufacturer's instruction if you want to replace it. Yeah, that one looks pretty shot. All right, so this particular one, the gap on your spark plug is 0 0.020. So if you happen to have some filler gauges, I mean, that looks pretty good, but we'll go ahead and check it while we got it off. Let's see, 0 020. All right, or if you have one of those fancy spark plug things. That looks good to me. All right. Okay, we're good. Go. Definitely don't want to cross thread that one. Now, these call for a torque of 180 inch pounds. Um, I have a torque wrench, but I really don't feel like getting it out. So we're just gonna, let's see. And click, 180 inch pounds. All right, good to go. Ah, there we go. Okie dokie. All right, so air filter, air filter cover. All right, oops, put it in right. Maybe it would work good. All right, go, oh, put that back on. All right, breather hose is attached. And take a look at these springs while I got it open. Looks good. All right. That's it, guys. Now we're just going to take it down. Uh, like I said, I'm going to change the oil. It's an oil change. Uh, I dump it out. This particular one takes about 18 ounces of oil and put it in here. Okay. Just like a car, put your oil in, check it, make sure it's full. All right. That's all you've got to do. Put everything back together. And, yep. All right. Spark plug cable back on. All right, and that is it. Easy peasy, right? All right, so now I'm gonna take it down, we'll take it outside, put some gas in it, fire up, and hopefully we don't have to rebuild the carburetor. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you in a sec. All right, guys, there we go. Got some gas in it. Let's give it a go. Hopefully it starts. Fingers crossed. All right, guys, well, there you go. We got the mower started. Uh, now you might have to give it a few pulls to get the gas uh, into the engine. But um, hey, if you liked the video, you found it helpful, do me a favor, hit that uh, thumbs up button. Uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that'd be pretty sweet too. Uh, if you can hit the bell, if you want to get notifications when I hit, uh, when I publish new videos. Well, now I got the mower running, I guess I got to go mow the yard. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.